for a junior scholar, publishing an article in a really good journal is the single best thing you can do to give yourself an advantage where your CV is concerned and so in the job market. It's not that books aren't important, of course they are, but while you're trying to produce a book, while you're spending the time that that takes, there is quite simply nothing like a journal article to give some distinction to your CV. The session looks at publishing in journals, that is essays in journals, and also publishing monographs with the press. My part of it is to do with publishing articles in journals uh, and what I want to do is to give people an insight into the, into the process. What happens when they send off an article to a journal? How does it get dealt with? Who does it get sent to for peer review? What happens when those reports come back? Uh, how should uh, someone who submitted a, a, an article and received reports, how do they deal with reports, particularly where those reports might seem to conflict? Basically, I'm interested in trying to uh, show people how they can engage with that process and give themselves the best chance of uh, publishing an article in a top-ranked journal. Many people are bewildered by the process. They send off an article to a journal, they think their article is pretty good or they wouldn't send it. They don't hear anything for weeks, for months. Then they might get a response that seems contradictory or that seems not to have engaged properly with their work. It can be a bewildering process. Uh, I think that having worked on the other side of it for several years, I now have a sense of why it can appear bewildering. And I aim to give people ways of uh, decoding the kinds of responses that they get. One of the things that needs to be considered is quite simply which journal to publish in. And a simple piece of advice is to publish in the best ranked journal in your field that you know of. It's a simple piece of advice, but it's a little bit harder to put into practice. How do you judge what the best ranked journal is? Uh, is it realistic with every piece you write to aim at the best journal in the field? Sometimes it might be appropriate, particularly for someone who is uh, still studying for a postgraduate degree, to aim at a specialist postgraduate journal. That's one which, which publishes the work of postgraduates solely and is usually edited by postgraduates. There's nothing wrong with, with doing that and getting some experience of journal publication uh, in that way. But by and large, you should aim to do the best thing you can by yourself and try to get a publication in what you think is the best ranked journal in your field. My advice with journal article publishing is quite simply, don't give up. If something is rejected, it doesn't mean necessarily that it's unpublishable. It shouldn't be destined for your bottom drawer. Try again, and if necessary, try again. And remember, but although you're getting reports that are rejecting your article, they probably do have some useful advice in them. So listen to that advice. Treat what you're getting from journals as a service, a service to you that's helping you to reshape the article.